Hey, yo, Daniel, this motherfucker hard, my boy. Me and my killers don't wanna be actors. Me and my killers don't wanna be actors. They wanna shoot shit, they wanna be rappers. We're pushing weight, they certified trappers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lil Man Reacts, and today we're gonna continue our journey with the Insane Clown Posse on the Wraith album. Today we got the Stainless. Never heard it before. I'm excited to jump into it, guys. Before we do, like, comment, subscribe down below. You already know. Let's go, guys. Police Nation Mooney speaking. I'd like to a Wait a minute. Calm down, I can't understand you. Clowns, what? Clowns, huh? And now they're at your front door, huh? They're at my front door right now. Killer clowns. Let me see your throat thing there, buddy. I'ma chop it. See the ideas that make you die. Stop it. I don't know why, but your heartbeat offends me. I need to cut you off at the windpipe desperately. Like, how about cutting your own neck? I did. 17 times. Why you think I talk like this before I cut myself? This was my voice. Now give me your neck pipe. You don't have no fucking choice. I'm not ready to die. Neither was EZE. Oh, what makes you so fucking special? You can escape the reef. You mean rage? I said rage. Now shut up. He said no, neither was easy e what makes you think you can escape escape the wreath? Sorry, guys. Hey, that was dope. I like that. Um, what I really like about this album is all these beats kind of flow together. Like, they kind of have the same sound. The production sounds like it's all the same person, which is very dope. It don't sound like it's all over the place. It kind of sounds like it just fits. I like that a lot. Let's jump back into it, guys. Fuck up and give me a windpipe so I can cut that motherfucker. Pick somebody else. I'm picking anybody I can find, and you happen to be the next motherfucking lamb. Okay, let's do it. Keep still right there, and about one, two, three of those motherfuckers, I'm out of here. <laughs> When I'm crooked, took it and shook it, ripped it and unzipped it, and waited for the nurse guy to bring me my tray. Jumped him from behind and turned his head backwards my way. Took all his keys and a crate of methadone. Masturbated on myself and leaped out the window. Then I turned around and went right back inside once I realized I could have grabbed a gang of formaldehyde. Suddenly another fucking guard shot me. I played the whole movie shits off like you got me. Played there playing dead and when he checked my pockets, I jabbed my fucking thumb knuckle deep in his eye sockets. By now there was guards everywhere. I'm steady cutting heads off, surfing on a wheelchair, and too many bullets finally put me away. But was it the real Violent J? I definitely don't like this ending. I really don't. I feel like they uh, could have just made it a two-minute track. Uh, and they ran out of things to talk about. So they tried to do this to get everybody involved. Um, and that sucks. Because before it got to this point, it was uh, pretty dope. Um, I just don't like... Like, it just feels like I, I ran out of things to talk about. So let's say a chant like we used to do and get everybody involved. Um... I, I mean, I get it. He says he's stale. And so they keep repeating it, you know, because it's stale. I get that, but we could have just ended this thing. Let's keep going and see. I'm so sorry.
just stale as fucking fuck. Suicidalists, juggalos, we just stale. No matter what, we always gonna be stale as fuck. Cause that's just how we do. This is Eshaw, motherfucker. I was on the first Joker's card and the last. All right, guys. Um, this one, I ain't gonna lie to you, this one probably be. Uh, 7 out of 10 for me. This is probably one of my least favorite songs off of the album. Uh, it was kind of cool to have Esham right there at the end, you know, and let you know that he was on the first Joker's card to the last Joker's card. But this ain't the last one. This is the last of the first deck. Um, I just didn't like that ending. I felt like we could have cut it short at 2 minutes. 2 minutes is an acceptable song now. I mean, like, 2 minutes, 30 seconds, whatever. Um... Kind of was a throwback to like the original, like not the original, but their uh, earlier material. Uh, the woman even kind of resembled uh, the person that did Cotton Candy with him. Uh, so I thought that was pretty dope. I did like those elements to that. Um, I just really just, I don't know why I just didn't like that chant at the end. It was just kind of, it wasn't like a, you know, like a get you hype chant. It was just kind of like, let's drag this out. But um, and besides that, guys, it was still dope. The production was still great. Um, I would listen to it again, not on uh, repeat. Like if it just came on, I would listen to the song. Um, would I refer it? Probably not. And that's just being 100% honest with you. Um, but definitely was solid, guys. I can't wait till we finish this album. Uh, everything so far has been super, super solid. I definitely appreciate you guys. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. Down in them comments. Where are we going next, guys?